Hi everyone, welcome to, back to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to do a basic video on how to do an assignment in Schoology where you connect a Google Drive assignment so that all students can do that assignment. Okay guys, so I am in my practice course right now and I'm gonna go down to add materials and I'm going to add an assignment. Okay, so it pops up right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it. So I am going to do a comparing decimals activity. Okay, and then right here I'm going to put the description, whatever I want them to do. So this is the activity right here that I have in my Google Drive that I'm going to want them to do. It's interactive slides. So I'm going to want them to go in and actually answer. So I want it to make a copy for every single one of them. And I want it to actually, um, and I want them to actually answer and interact in these before they submit it to me and then I can go back in and check their answers. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and fill out my directions. So I would just say, read the directions on each slide and do as it says, then submit when you are done. Okay, and that will show up. Now, whenever you write your directions and everything, um, you can always change the font or anything like that, um, change the size of it, you can center it. However, you can change the color, anything like that. I like to just make it a little bigger for them. Now, I want to attach that Google Slideshow. Before I do that, I need to go into my drive, okay? Here is the slideshow. I know what the name is, okay? Over here, where it says share, I need to make sure that it is shared with anyone with the link. Now, this one already is, but say it wasn't, I would just click change there and I would pick any of these. So I'm gonna do anyone with the link and click done, okay? So now I can go back in here. I'm gonna click on where it says Google Drive Assignments. It's gonna pop up my Google Drive. Now remember the name of what I was, um, what I was wanting to attach here, so it's Apply comparing decimals, okay? And it's right here. Now it says shared, so that tells me that it is already shared with anyone with the link. If it did not say shared, then I would know that I need to go in, I need to change those share settings before I attach it, okay? Click on that right there, and then just attach. So now it's right in here. Now, as you go down, you can put in a due date. You can put in a category. Now, you're going to want to usually with the, um, these, Schoology is not going to grade it on your own, so you're going to do ungraded, okay? Schoology can't go into your Google assignment and grade it. You're going to have to go look at it yourself. So usually we use these for formative assessments. If you want to align them to any TEKS, click on um, or any learning objectives. If you're not in Texas, click here. And here's some options down here for you as well. Now, if you're an ELA, you can use a rubric here, or a scale, um, for it to be graded on that you would have to go in and do that yourself. Um, you don't need to do that. Down here, an option is to individually assign. If you want this just for a few students, you can click on that and do that. Lock, this means that nobody can get into it. This right here is published to students. So if you want it to go ahead and be published for them to for them to start it, you can do that, or you can unclick it where it goes um, white there, and that means that it'll be done unpublished, so it's not ready for them to do it yet. So say you're working on stuff for next week or the week after, or something like that. Right here, grade statistics disabled. Um, I never use that, so I'm not sure exactly what to do there, and then copy to courses. So I'm in my practice course right now, and if I wanted to go ahead and put this in any of my other courses while I'm doing this, I would click that. So then just go in and create. Okay, so now whenever I go and I look at it, 
This is what it looks like for me. It has the directions. It has this attached to it. Okay, for the student, it says assignment here, and then it's going to say my document. They would have to click on my document here, and it would open in a window down here for them to um, go in and edit it, and it's a copy for each one of them. So I can also go into in progress, and I could toggle between my two classes that I have. If you have more than that, you can toggle between the other ones. And then submissions, anyone that's already submitted, this is where you would toggle between your classes, and it will show all your students' names, and you can see all these submissions there. I hope this helped you guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channels for more videos to come.